Hi, I'm Mark from Live Well CPAP and Medical Supply, and I just uh, wanted to uh, touch on three things that I think might make CPAP, or getting used to CPAP transition easier. Um, first one is be, be consistent. I talk to my patients a lot, and where I see people um, that are successful on their CPAP therapy is they don't take nights off. Um, there's a common theme that I see where people who end up returning their CPAP because they can't use their therapies, they may use it for two nights and then they'll take a night off and then use it for two more nights and then they'll take two nights off and it's very inconsistent. Um, I always tell my patients, um, if you use it every night, even if you're using it for an hour and a half and you have to take it off to get some sleep, that's okay. But don't skip nights. It's when I see people skipping nights is where people will typically fail on their CPAP machine. Now obviously there's some times where you can't control it if you're vomiting, you're sick, something to that effect and not, you can't use it that night. Um, that's totally fine, um, you know, do what you need to do, but um, pick it back up and be very consistent with it. And a lot of you will tell yourself, wow, I just need one night off, um, I'll, I'll start my, my progression again tomorrow. But a lot of times when you do take that night off, it's almost like starting over in step one and having to work through using your CPAP machine again. So it's best to be consistent, even if it's not uh, a very long period of time. Push through, it's worth it. Second thing, um, practice with your CPAP machine. Uh, a lot of times, uh, by the time you, if you take your brand new CPAP machine home and you set it up in the corner, now it's 10 o'clock at night, you gotta go put it on, it's brand new, it's hard to get used to when you're staring at the ceiling twiddling your thumbs with an alien on your face. So it's great to take an hour before bedtime, um, get used to putting it on. Um, a lot of times I'll tell my patients, hey, you know, put on a podcast and listen to it, watch TV with it on, do something that's distracting your mind a little bit. And so physiologically, your body's getting used to that pressure and that mask. And so by the time you hit bedtime, it's, it doesn't seem so overwhelming. You can just kind of nod off and it's a little, bit more, uh, a little bit more comfortable. Feel free to practice with it during the day, especially if you're getting a, a poor mask seal. Um, put it on, do a run mask fit function on your machine. Make, make sure you're, you're getting your mask snug down when it's daylight and you can play with it and, and even do it in front of the mirror a lot of times will, will help. And number three, the biggest thing that you can do is reach out to your home care supplier. Um, I know a lot of my patients will say, oh, I just don't wanna bother you guys. Um, most home care suppliers want you to be comfortable um, with your therapy. They're not gonna, um, you know, they're not gonna feel like you're bothering them at all. And this is again, coming from, from my point of view, I've worn CPAP for 11 years. I've done this for, for 23 years. Um, it's not an easy therapy a lot of times. Some people take off with it, but most people, like me included, when I started my therapy, it took me a little while and it took me, I had to go bit by bit. But if you reach out to your home care supplier, a lot of times things that may seem um, overwhelming to you, it's a very simple, easy fix, something that they can do on the computer, the internet, you know, uh, five or six miles away or just help you walk through it on the phone. Um, if it's something a little bit more uh, in depth, you need a different mask, reach out to them. Most reputable DME companies will allow a mask refit. Um, it's the manufacturer's guarantee. They'll allow that every, you know, uh, for the first 30 days. You can change that mask out as many times as you need to. Um, don't change it too, too much if you have two masks or you know don't do a change every night wear one for three or four nights and then if you're not sure try the next one for three or four nights because you're getting used to it but definitely reach out to your home care supplier for help